G'day, it's Drew from 3xfinder.com, previously known as Sharp Tooling. I'm here today to introduce to you my latest product, which is a 3XF hub nut, which gives three times finer adjustment to the rear bearings on our full floating hubs for our Land Cruisers. It's a product that's suitable for any Land Cruiser with a full floating hub, from the 40 series right through to the 70 series uh, that are currently being released today. So how do we get three times finer adjustment, you ask? So the standard Toyota nut has six holes for aligning uh, your set screws once you get your bearing preload. The, the 3XF hub nut has 18 holes. This means uh, there's three times more holes for uh, putting your set screws in, three times more finer preload adjustment, and it's just uh, uh, three times finer all around. So uh, a little bit of background on the product. We've had it, the R&D uh, has been in process for three years. We've done testing over 150,000 Ks on three vehicles. Uh, no problems at all there. Uh, we've had uh, scientific uh, testing done by Bureau Veritas here who specialise in destructive testing of aerospace and mining equipment. Their, pro their testing is backed up with data proving that my product is one and a half times stronger than the Toyota unit. That's due to the fact that it's made from chrome moly and it's got twice as much thread contact area for where it locates on your stub axle. And the final icing on the cake is it's been signed off by an automotive engineer verified that it's safe for on-road use. So what does all of this mean? What it means is there is no further engineering required. There's no mod plates required to fit this to your vehicle. Just, just put it on. And the biggest icing on the cake is there's no insurance issues whatsoever if you're to use my product. We're not hiding behind terms that's safe for off-road use only. This is a fully legal product suitable for on-road use on your vehicles. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna unbox uh, the product and as you'll see it as it arrives on your doorstep. All right, we have the 3XF hub nut kit here. So uh, what we have inside is, we have the custom alignment tool, which is the triangular shaped tool, three fingered uh, design. We have a set of instructions and we have our two hub nuts. So that's a hub nut for each side of the vehicle. Basically, uh, how the uh, tool works is uh, the hub nut, the tool go together, half inch drive to apply the torque onto the bearing. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, pop the axle out of the uh, rear of my vehicle here and show you how to fit the 3XF hub nut. Okay, so I've removed the axle out of the back of this diff here and uh, expose the 3XF hub nut that's been in this vehicle for a very long time. Uh, the last preload uh, adjustment I did on this is about 30,000 Ks ago. In that time, it's created a small amount of play, which I can feel there. Uh, and this is where the 3XF hub nut really comes into its own. To get that small amount of play out, I don't have to adjust it to the full next setting, which would be over, over torquing it, as in the Toyota nut. I'll just take it to the next setting on a 3XF hub nut and uh, take up that small amount of play and the preload's perfect again. Okay, as you can see, we've got the 3XF hub nut. We have the four points that are notched onto the end of the differential which dictate our points of alignment for the set screws. Currently, we have the set screws aligned with this diagonal, as you can see there. The set screws align with that mark and that mark. The next available setting is in a position like this, which align with that mark there and that mark there. As you can see, when I when for that alignment, it is perfectly half of a whole diameter out for the next setting, which is the basis of the three times finer adjustment. What we do to get to the next setting is remove the two set screws, turn the nut in a clockwise direction so the lower part of this hole aligns with the mark on, this, on the diff. So we'll go ahead and we will do that right now to show you. Remove the set screws. and place on the three-fingered tool. Okay, at this point now, 
we've got the tool fitted to the nut so we can torque it up in a clockwise direction equivalent to half a hole. So we want the lower part of this here a hole to align with our alignment notch in the diff. So we're going to do that now. Okay. That has been adjusted with three times finer adjustment. Now that we've done the adjustment, obviously before we put the set screws back in to lock it off, we just spin the wheel a few times and uh, we see if there's uh, any play in there and ensure that we've taken the free play up. That feels absolutely spot on there now. No free play whatsoever. So I'm happy with that. So we'll simply lock off the set screws in the position that we just adjusted it for. Okay, so we've got our set screws set in the other diagonal position that uh, is suitable for our bearing preload that aligns with that mark there. So now simply if you find that you need any further adjustment, as you can see, we have the uh, next alignment mark there. And again, we just adjust the lower part of that hole and that hole in a clockwise direction to line up with that mark and that mark. So it's rather simple. Setting by setting, we just keep matching it from that setting across to that setting. Well, thanks very much guys for watching uh, my small video today on the 3XF hub nut. Uh, very fine adjustment available for your Land Cruiser wheel bearings with a full floating hub. First time in the world this has ever been done. So uh, support Australia made, support Australian manufacturing. We're doing all we can to just keep some small jobs happening here in the small state of South Australia. So I really hope, uh, yeah, I can uh, get some of these hub nuts straight out to you uh, on your doorstep to get them fitted up to your Land Cruiser so you can get your bearings perfect every time. Uh, Drew at 3xfinder.com is my email and uh, yeah, you can contact me anytime. Thanks very much.